Just Incredible here with a Mega Man X3 tutorial video on how to do the bootless jump to get the sub tank in Blizzard Buffalo stage without the need of the air dash boots. Before attempting this trick, it's very important that you understand what gap jumps are. Gap jumps are when you do not climb the ladder, but instead use a precise wall jump to jump through the ladders. In X3, the sides of ladders are walls in themselves. As you see, there's a small little gap that X can use to jump through them. So using a precise 7 pixel wall jump, you can simply jump through the gap without needing to climb the ladder, which saves time. As you see, that is much faster than just climbing up the ladder like that. <clears throat> Once you know the gap jumps, performing this trick will be a lot easier to do. So, on to bootless. <clears throat> As you see, this is a pretty tight jump here. And I'm not even doing it the proper way yet. <clears throat> so, how do you do it? Well, <clears throat> first I'm going to pause the game and bring up a screenshot here. Let me find it here. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have a pointer on OBS here, so you're just going to have to uh, look very carefully. As you see, I have two six-pointed stars here on this wall. And as you see, they're I've measured them out. And as you see, they are within seven pixels of one another. This is important for the seven-pixel wall jump rule. If X is within seven pixels of any wall, he can jump from it. He can he is still close enough to jump as if it as if he was against the wall. <clears throat> also, these little white circles here represent X's hands when he's on the wall. <clears throat> and I've also drawn out two triangles here. The bottom one is if you just jumped from a full dash jump here from this wall and the top of this triangle is how high he would get and the and the base of this triangle covers the length that he covers until he reaches the peak of his jump this doesn't cover uh, the time that he is at his peak of his jump before he falls down the second triangle is if you were doing a double kick off the wall as you see the triangle gets shifted up here this red line is X's is the path of X's hands when he jumps off the wall and approaches the ledge we'll cover this more in detail in just a moment but these are the basic setups that you need to know this is all a geometry kind of thing so you have to use a uh, some geometry and just a uh, strict timing to get this jump and as you notice you see this red line here at the at the top where the ledge is you see it starts sticking straight up well we're gonna cover that here in just a moment <clears throat> now I'm gonna bring back the game up here and you'll see the full the full length jump here off the wall with just one jump see that's how high he gets he doesn't get any higher but if you double kick you see he gets high enough to reach the ledge now a little thing to notice in this stage if you're walking on ice and you jump to the left not a dash jump but just a normal jump he jumps way higher <clears throat> this is normally a good thing but for this trick it's not particularly helpful so you want to avoid this if you can and especially since you're jumping left for this for this jump you can trigger the see like that you can trigger that so how do we do this trick well I'm getting ready to bring up the directions first starting from the ground level 
dash jump to the wall, making sure to get maximum height. This sets you up with the correct height for the following double kick. This is very important. You need to get full height on every jump. You have to. Otherwise, you will never you'll never get this jump. So the moment you hear that little click where he grabs the wall, that is his full height. Like so. Now that jump there was when I jumped left on this little block here. About that little ice ice physics are weird in this stage. So it's very important. Now it's preferable that you do it you start your dash jump to the left on the ladder part. You don't have to be in the middle of the ladder. You just have to be on it somewhere. If you're you can't be this far back because you'll you'll start to come down as you approach the wall. If you're too close, you could get that little um, this jump the higher jump that you don't want. So you just need to be on the ladder. You don't have to be perfectly centered on it. That's the first step of the of the jump. So I'm going to bring up a uh, my little uh, photo viewer, and I've got all all the frames of this jump. Uh, saved frame by frame. See how he starts to jump? And right there, that's his max height. And then the, you see the little spark here that he gets when he starts the wall kick. That's important too. And that's what that first bottom six pointed star represents. That's the kick point from from the first full jump. Step two, using the seven pixel roof wall kicks, you want to double kick with the correct tempo to sweet spot the precise spot needed to reach the ledge with a dash jump with maximum height. Now see I misspelled that. How terrific. <laughs> Let me uh fix that for a second. Now the double kick is the first important part of this jump. Because if you don't get the double kick correct, you'll mess up the whole jump altogether. So when you do the double kick here, you see this six pointed star here, this, the top one. It is positioned to where the middle of it, this, the, like, the, the middle part of it, aligns with the top part of that purple building in the background. This is the visual cue for Bootless. It's not easily seen, but if you look closely enough, you will you can see it. And let me bring up the game foot feed. See that building in the background here? That The top of that purple building is where you want the middle of the second kick to be. And you have to kick off at the right tempo. If you do it too quickly, you won't get enough height. Like that. See, that's too early. You see, he's not getting enough height. See, he's not high enough. The tempo is very key here. You want the second spark of that double kick to line up. with the middle part so you have to space you have to time that second kick just right and when you double kick you obviously have to hold the dash button for the first kick off the wall you just press jump but for the second one you have to hold dash down as well so we're going to do this a couple of times but before I do let me bring up the frame advance so here comes the double kick and right there, I'm going to back this up a couple of frames. Okay, the bottom, you can see X's toe. It almost touches, like the bottom part of his sprite almost touches the exact level where that building is. But you can be off by a pixel on either side and be fine. So there's, there's the spark that matches up with that diagram from before. So you do the double kick 
and then you start holding right and we'll get to that in just a moment but you see how see how much more uh, high he gets see how high he gets his hands are now high enough to reach the ledge so he's got his full jump so I'm gonna back this up all the way back to the ground so we go dash jump full height kick kick obviously it's not the exact tempo but this is what the frame advance shows <clears throat> so back to the actual game feed there that was good it's jump tap tap jump tap tap now if you double kick if you attempt to double kick late and you're too far away from the seven pixel window you won't get the jump double kick too early and you won't get enough height so you have to achieve the medium so you have to achieve the middle ground to get this jump that was early that may have been late that was fine that was perfect now see I, I tried to double kick late and I didn't even get to the wall that was fine that was about fine you just have to get the timing down this is all a, a timing thing now that one was late I was within the seven pixel window but I double kicked it too late if you double kick it late you end up bonking your head on the on the ceiling of that ledge and you can't get the jump at all now if you notice I'm keeping jumping here X's hands kinda hide in that ledge so this ledge has a little bit of a false uh, ceiling on it or a false bottom you can actually X's sprite kinda goes behind it so it's kinda deceiving how high you actually have to be but that's why you have to get the double kick high enough to reach uh, for his hands to go up high enough on that platform to begin with so that was a good kick right there good tempo so it's jump tap tap jump tap tap jump tap tap like that <clears throat> that's the first tricky part now for the second part of the hard part once you double kick from the wall you will hold right and jump and obviously dash because you have to have dash speed as you approach the ledge once X's hands clear the ledge release only right and you have to continue to hold down the jump button for a few more frames so he gets the maximum height from the jump this is very important if you let go of right and jump he's just gonna fall straight down then release and repress jump quickly to make X auto turn and grab the ledge before he starts to fall the reason he auto turns is because his hands are within the set pixel uh, rule for the wall jump because that ledge is just like a, a wall only it's one tile high <clears throat> so that's the tricky part so we're going to start from this double kick, the second kick, and we're going to advance it by frame, frame by frame. Now his hands are following that little tr uh, that red line that I showed you earlier. And as you notice that when he reaches up here, the, at this point, right is no longer being held. However, you hold the jump button down still. Because what's going to happen, up. Oh, and he gets a little bit more height and then right here you want to press uh, jump again and he makes the jump now if you notice the little helot here that spawns when you get close to this ledge will fire a missile the sound that it makes is kinda like an audio cue to press the jump button but you don't want to press early because you're probably going to have one shot to press jump and grab the ledge. If you miss, you fall back down. So it's jump, kick, kick, jump. The time that you wait to do the first jump from the initial dash jump off on the ground has to be the same length uh, or the same length 
as the jump from the second uh, wall kick to the ledge. So, I'm going to try that now. So it's going to be jump, kick, kick, jump. Jump, kick, kick, jump. Jump, kick, kick, jump. Now that one was too high. He bonked his head right here at the edge of the uh, of the platform and he went back down. So that one was not was not going to work at all. So it's jump, kick, kick, jump. Jump, kick, kick, jump. Well, that one was bad. Like that. So it's jump, kick, kick, jump. So you stop holding right once you get to the uh, edge here, but you keep jump held down. You have to train your fingers to do this. Jump, kick, kick, jump. Now that I went, I didn't go far enough, but I was I was too high anyway, so that's why I bonked. So jump, kick, kick, jump. Jump, kick, kick, jump. Well, see that's what happened. If you double kick late, you won't get the second jump. Jump, kick, kick jump well that was too high jump kick kick jump jump kick kick jump but that was also high it's common to, to jump it, it's common to double kick light on this jump kick kick jump 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 now that I probably push jump late because I think you started to fall, but you get the idea. Now, if you can get this jump like first or second try, and you're when you're in an actual RTA of this, it will save you 15 seconds. Then just going straight to get the dash boots, come back, use an air dash to grab the sub tank, and then head to the boss door. So this is saves us. If you're new to this game, then this trick won't be relevant. But when you have a good time, this trick means a lot. So jump, kick, kick, jump, kick, kick, jump, jump, kick, jump, jump, kick, kick, jump. Now those are been, those are high right there. Jump, kick, kick, jump, jump, kick, kick, jump. So, to review, <clears throat> and I'll do this on the frame advance again, jump, there's the two kicks, stop holding right there, continue to hold the jump button down, and then quickly release and repress, and you're there. So, so that's what that little red line here at the top means. You stop holding right, but you continue to hold the jump button down because you're still getting height. And he gets just enough to grab the ledge here. So here's so look at this uh, set, uh, six pointed star here. And in the top edge of this purple building in the background, that is your visual cue. So, have any questions? Just uh, message uh, message me or put a comment on the video. Good luck.